and he's the reason you're still here, and he really does want you to have the best this, this world can offer. He really came to give us life and to give us life more abundantly. He didn't come to put us under a bunch of rules and, don't, you know, don't you do that kind of stuff and, and live uh, in some kind of, you know, everything has to suffer. No, that's not the good news. The good news is you can have a relationship with a living God. He wants to show you great and mighty things. He wants to provide for you. He wants to forgive you of anything you've ever done wrong. And he wants to heal you. Isn't that wonderful? That's the good news. When we believe it, we walk into that newness of life, that abundant life that God wants for each one of his children. He <laughs> wants it for you. You can be whosoever would believe on him, would not die. Isn't that wonderful? That's what happened to Christina. It can happen to you. Now, we've got some more miracles. Here's Billy from Gray, Louisiana. He had heart surgery for AFib, was intubated. After the surgery, his vocal cords were very swollen and continued to be so for the entire week following the surgery. He was scheduled to preach at his church and wondered how he was going to do it. Well... Billy and his wife were watching the 700 Club. Terry said, there's someone, I don't know why you've lost your voice. You can speak, but it's very, very raspy. You used to sing. You used to be a speaker. And you're so discouraged by all of this. God's healing that condition in your throat for you. Lift up your hands. Begin to thank him. Take it in Jesus' name. Well, Billy lifted his hands and said, that word's for me. And that evening, went to church, was able to speak normally as he was ministering. His vocal cords were completely healed. Yay. This is Bonnie. Bonnie lives in Tucson, Arizona, fell off her bike, did a face plant on the asphalt. The pointed part of her helmet dug into her forehead, leaving a gash, even required stitches. She went to the ER where test results ruled out fractures and intracranial bleeding. She was sent home with pain meds. Soon after, though, she noticed her balance was off. She had trouble forming words and speaking. Watching this program, Gordon, she heard you say, there's someone you've been involved in an accident. What I'm getting is the image that you were wearing a helmet, and this is how you'll know it's you. The helmet left a mark on your forehead from where you were hit. You're dealing with a lot of issues in your brain as a result of this accident. God is healing you, restoring your mental function. He's going to give it all back to you just as if it never happened. With joy and faith, she received it. She got up the next day. Her symptoms were gone. Her balance was back. She's been talking nonstop without any difficulty. Lord, we lift everyone in the audience to you right now. We declare you, over them that all of their sins are forgiven. They're able to enter into the sacred place of your throne room. And here we ask now that you would heal their bodies. You would take away all pain, all infirmity, all infection, all cancer, all heart disease, yes, all problems in the name of Jesus be healed and be made whole. Mm -hmm. Someone, you've got painful jaw, TMJ, you have difficulty swallowing, opening your mouth, eating. It's very painful. God's healing you. God's healing a right shoulder right now, too. Some of you so discouraged. Hang on to the promises of God. He hears you. He's moving in Jesus' name. Amen. If your prayers have been answered, let us know. Let us share in your good report. If you need prayer, we're here for you 24 hours a day.